Go, Governor Sololo has a right to his choice, yes. but I was taken aback by the article. What yes. was the bone of contention in the first that, place? That, that's the question. He said some projects were worthless. I will have thought, with all of the hula balu, we will have rejoined it by saying, oh, these are the projects that Peter Obi did that was Thank worthless. You. And give us facts. You know me, I don't like sentiments. I like to stick to the facts. But he didn't do that. And it's an open challenge. Governor Peter, uh, uh, Professor Sololo, give us the facts on ground that the projects you say that this man has done in the states while he was governor, that was uh, the, the investments that were worthless. But I thought the article I read over 15 times, I should say, was a direct attack on Peter Opie, and it was needless. Professor Solu is not running for president. How would you call the presidential ambition of somebody fleeting frenzy? You know what a fleeting frenzy is? It's a direct attack. A wild behavior that is passing by. A man has a right to his presidency. He has a right to his ambition. His followers might not be in support of you. You call them mob. I have people attack me every day and abuse me on social media. Do I, have I ever come one day to call them a mob? Some even go to the point of fiscal threats. You don't call them a mob. They have a right to their opinions. All right? So when people have a right to their opinions, you know that it's not true about you. Then you move on. And face the matter. What was the bone of contention? The bone of contention was that the investments are worth nothing. And if you have a rejoinder to that, show us the investment that are worth nothing. Those are the facts on ground. Going up to the extent of saying, okay, I told him to come to Apga, and then all of that is sentiment as far as I'm concerned. That this was the same person that uh, I said he should come to Apga. You know, I gave him that chance. He said he was never going to leave Apga. I swore by that. Hey, all politicians in Nigeria have crapped at some point. Wasn't Soludo an aspirant for governorship of the PDP in 2009? But he took left from the PDP to Africa. So if you want to paint everybody with that brush, all of you have gone through that way. So it was just an attack on him. And like he said, it's part one. Part two reactions will be drawn and they will go on and on. But for me, I just think Governor Soludo should focus on the problems in Anambra State.